Hello Steam Deck fans, I am Scorp and I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily transfer files from your Windows machine to your Steam Deck. I have seen this question asked quite a lot and a lot of people recommend lots of different software to accomplish this. Well, I'm going to tell you now, you don't need any software at all. So first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to come to your desktop and I would highly recommend that you use a keyboard and mouse for this. If you haven't got one, then you may struggle just a little bit. So we are now on the Steam desktop and you are going to want to open console and there is console. We are going to open it and from here you're going to want to type in this command sudo system control start sshd which will start the ssh services on your Steam Deck. You will need to type in your password. I am not sure what would happen with this if you have not set a password. So please let me know in the comments. You may need to set a password whether that's desirable for you or not. I do not know, but I would highly recommend a password. And that has started SSH on our system. And also, I'm just going to quickly open Dolphin, our file manager. And in my documents, so in Home Deck documents, I've created a folder called Transferred, which if you want to create a folder is right click, create new, and then click folder, and then you can create a folder. And now it's time to switch to our Windows machine. So here is my Windows machine, and just on my C drive, I have just created this folder called Steam Deck Files. Uh, I'm sorry if you can't see this because my monitor resolution is quite high. And I'm simply wanting to transfer these few things, which is two images here, a video, and a folder containing a further image. So now all you need to do is click the Windows key and then type in CMD. And the first option you can choose from should be Command Prompt. You just click this. I am going to just make this bigger so you can see it. Okay, and now we need to go CD, and we're just going to go to the C drive, so C colon slash, and we are now on our C drive. And then from here, you need to type in SFTP, and then it's going to be deck at Steam Deck, uh, assuming that Steam Deck is your host name for your Steam Deck, and then click enter. If this is the first time you're doing this, uh, it will, before this, ask you to confirm the identity and you just need to type in yes. And then type in your password for your Steam Deck, not for your Windows machine. And we are now connected to our Steam Deck. And if we just type in L uh, PWD, that will show us where we currently are on our Steam Deck. And if we type in LS, that will show us everything in the current folder. And we are going to want and we are going to want to CD into documents, then into my folder transferred. And if we just type in LS again, we will see that the folder is empty. And if we type PWD, we can confirm that we are actually in this folder. And if we type in LPWD, we can see where we are on our local Windows machine, which is currently C. And if we type in LLS, we can see all our files on our local machine, our local Windows machine. And I am simply going to want to copy this folder, Steam Deck Files. So what you need to do is you need to type in put and to copy an entire contents of a directory, you need to put in R, which means recursive. And then you need to type in the name. So Steam Deck Files. And if we click enter, it will now show you some progress of how long it's going to be. And if we come back over to our deck, as you can see all those files, including the folder, and that extra image have all been copied across. And now I can have some nice, beautiful backgrounds on my Steam Deck, just the way I like all my computers. I, I love this game. And that is it. And if you restart your Steam Deck, the SSH services will stop, so you don't need to do anything further. Uh, but you can also, from here, go back to that original command we typed in and change the start to stop and that will just instantly stop the services. However, it will still be connected on your Windows machine. So on your Windows machine to exit SFTP, you just simply type buy, and that will exit SFTP. And if we just try and connect again, it will say connection refused. So that is it, our Steam Deck is back to its original state. No one else can connect to our Steam Deck. All our files that we wanted are transferred across. And it's as simple as that. Thank you for watching. Hope that helped. No installing any crap. Easy.